confirmation on your screen of the two competitors for this consolation final then. Jorge Casales versus Jureni Fajardo. Fajardo the better in terms of seeding position. Section number one then. At, uh, Fajardo dropped a mark in the round one direction. Jorge Casales dropped five. As for the reverse direction, Fajardo dropped a mark. Casales was clean. So difficult to draw too many conclusions other than the fact that uh, Casales hasn't passed this section yet tonight. It'll be the round two direction first, which uh, Casales has managed to clean. In the round two direction, the round one direction rather, is the second direction. Of the riders in the constellation. Still with me. As straightforward as Jorge Casales against Jeroni Fajardo, a direct head to head, one on one. Consolation final is about to get underway. Salas building himself up. Who would have predicted him to be in this position when we got underway here tonight? 23 year old Spaniard. This is best ever extra performance, whatever happens here. His previous best was sixth. He'll be at least fourth tonight. But can he make his first ever extra podium? Stake his claim for a place in the series next year as well if he does so. It'll be a brilliant performance from Casales. Fixing so far tonight. Just got to replicate what he did in round number two. It's only one minute per section. He's got 45 seconds for return direction. Got it wrong first time around, Casales. Will he get it right second time around to keep the pressure on? Jeroni Fajardo. Time becoming critical in the final phase of competition with just that one minute. A whole series of marks dropped there, and Casales has failed in section number one. Just as he did in round one, can't learn from it. It's a, it's a fiasco, and section one for Jorge Casales. Can Jeroni Fajardo go better? He's already completed this section in both directions here tonight. There's an opportunity to make the podium this evening as well as the championship. In fact, we could theoretically have an identical extra Landora La Bella podium to the world championship podium. Tony Bo beats Ana Braga, Jeroni Fajardo beats Jorge Casales. That's how it'll pan out. Section number one for Jeroni Fajardo, then. That five mark score to me. Oh, he's got it wrong right at the start of the section. One mark drop, though. He might end up with two there. This is going to be hard. It is going to be two. He's taken one for leading. But not a good start for Fajardo. Well, well had a clear opportunity to move above Jorge Casales. In this section, number one, he is still ahead of Casales, but he's got two marks. So he's got uh, there's only one to play with in the return direction. If he goes, that's the one for leading. Using the sump across that crest there. So this one he's going to have to do on the back wheel. Section observer happy so far. Less than 20 seconds remaining, though, for Fajardo, who needs to get a move on now. 10 seconds. Fajardo explosive. For a moment, I thought he was going to slip back, but he doesn't. Fajardo leads the consolation final by two marks. And in the consolation final, there are only four sections, so limited opportunities for Casales to get back into it. But thankfully, for the younger of the two Spaniards, Jeremy Fajardo has dropped three marks there. So the difference between the two of them, despite Casales' section one fail, is only two marks. Speed important as we go through the remaining three as well. Section one, they managed all right in terms of time, though, to be perfectly honest. A little bit tight for Fajardo, but he still had uh, seconds to play with at the end there. Five plays three. Section two. First step completed really well by Jorge Casales. He's taken a mark, the right foot, just to stop himself from uh, slipping off the edge of the cliff. And over the other side. Casales now urging the bike forward to some speed. 40 seconds remaining. Remember, he's got to do this direction, but also the return direction. That's the uh, extra challenge of the consolation fight. Section two, turn for Casales. Half the time, half the section still to go. This is now the uh, round one direction, of course. Section two, Casales dropped a mark, as did Fajardo in this direction. Working their way through here. Casales at the moment with one mark dropped. He's got less than 10 seconds on the clock, and he's done it. 
Nice work from Jorge Casales. Six his total now. Trails Gironi Fajardo by three, but has a section in hand. Section number two for Gironi Fajardo, who's on three after section one. This is going to be tight. Round two direction first, then the round one direction. For Gironi Fajardo, who was uh, clean in this section in round one, and just the one mark dropped in round two, as I said, during Jorge Casales' right. First step important then for Fajardo. Up he goes. Oh, halfway up. I thought he was going to get stuck. And he recovered it. So Jeroni Fajardo with the advantage here in this consolation final as he bids for what will be a 30th career podium. Former extra winner Fajardo. Top event rider at every round this season. Will he be top event rider at this round as well? Jorge Casales, of course, is the only other event rider still in the competition. He's, he's 30 seconds remaining. He's in exactly the same place in terms of time as Casales was. He's dropped one mark there for leaning. And it was the merest of glances, but uh, our Italian observer is as sharp as ever. This is absolutely nothing, this man. 10 seconds remaining, and Fajardo is through. One mark, matches Casales. Still leads by two, therefore, with two sections remaining. Good enough for Fajardo to just keep matching Casales through each of the sections. I'm sure he'd rather be extending the gap, but uh, Casales is first out, so Fajardo can measure himself directly against Jorge Casales. Four plays six, then. Fajardo leads us. Casales on six marks, now embarks on section number three. Casales actually uh, setting the back wheel to the edge of the white line here. Just to put down some rubber before we go into section three. Another one minute, another one section. Again, two directions. Assistant waiting at the top just in case for Jorge Casales. Vertigo representative at the bottom of section three here. Up he goes. One fluid motion. Ah, he slips back. Drop mark for leaning. For a moment, he dangled his leg. I thought he was going to take a mark for footing as well, but he saved that. That puts him on to seven. Of course, Fajardo still has two sections to ride. Casales, after this one, has just one. Nicely done there from Jorge Casales. Perfect landing. He's taken a mark for footing just to turn the machine. He's on two marks. Also enables him to get through the first half of the section in less than 30 seconds. So, the round two direction is complete. Now back to the round one direction that caused so many riders so many problems. Casales failed in this direction, remember. Slipped off, was unable to make the step. Only Bing Kaz, Braga and Bo manage this in round number one. Will Jorge Casales manage it in the consolation final? He's seen it done. Now it's his turn. Five seconds remaining. He's got to have a go at this, surely. He's not going to. He's run out of time. Well, that's a shame. Would have been nice to see Casales have a real go at that step, having failed it earlier on tonight. Section three proving too difficult and too long as well for Casales. He was efficient in the first direction, which is the uh, same direction they rode in round number two. Less so in the round one direction. In which, remember, Jeroni Fajardo also fails. The round two direction, Fajardo drops three marks. So this is not exactly a favourite of his. If Casales had got through, he might have been able to make back some marks. Fajardo, first step done well. If he uh, manages a clean here, he will already be guaranteed third position tonight. If he were to drop one mark, likewise, two marks, and he would be guaranteed at least a tie. He's off the side of the section now for a five. So even earlier in the section, Fajardo fails section number three. Interesting to see how the grand finalists get on with that one. That could be the uh, deciding section. Six sections, though, in the grand final, compared to only four in the consolation final, means every section really is crucial in the comp seat. Playoff for third position. Jorge Casales, 11. Jeroni Fajardo, nine. If Casales fails this section, Fajardo is third at extra Landora La Bella. Casales only drops a maximum of three marks. He 
remains in contention himself. Two directions here once again. Round two direction and then round one direction. Jorge Casales. Under pressure now. That's the disadvantage of being the first rider out. But it was only a single mark between the two of them in round two. Casales dropped a mark in the round two direction. And he was clean in the round one direction. Tony Fajardo was clean First step completed by Casales. He's dropped a mark for footing. He felt the bike slipping backwards. He had to save it. So one mark already to his name. Remember, more than three is a failure. Failure here for Casales means Fajardo can ride relaxed through section four. Already knowing that uh, the place on the podium is assured here tonight. Casales won't be too disappointed anyway, even if it is only fourth position. First half of section four completed. The turn. Big step now. Up he goes. And he's done it without dropping a mark for leading as well. That's a good effort from Jorge Casales. Again. Section observer even leaned forward to have a good look at what Casales was doing. That module moving under the weight of the bike. Section number four. It's had a couple of times that modules fixed back down. They were errant. Final step for Casales. That is a good performance in section number four. But did he run out of time? Waiting for confirmation. The section observer shows a one. Casales, I guess, is remonstrating about the fact that the section moved under his weight. If Casales failed that section on time, it's already game over. It's not showing that way on the timings at the moment. Jeroni Fajardo drops a mark early on. We've got to assume that Casales has finished on 12. If he made it in time, it was just a single mark score. It is a 12 mark score for the lap. Jeroni Fajardo is now on 10. So only has two to play with. Under pressure here, Fajardo. Turn. He's actually ahead of where Casales was at the same stage as he makes the return direction. Half of the time remaining, half of the section remaining. That was that first step without dropping a mark. Two marks still his advantage over Jorge Casales. 15 seconds on the clock. Fajardo will have to rush here. There was a moment there where you thought he might go. He dropped one mark. He saved it. One still his advantage. Seven seconds showing on the clock. Time is against him as it was against Casales. Fajardo is through. The front wheel is out of the section. And by my reckoning in time, and that will give Jeroni Fajardo the place on the podium by just a single mark. Jeroni Fajardo, the 30th extra podium of his career. He'll be on the World Championship podium and he'll be on the event podium but by just a single mark. High stakes, high pressure. In the end, it goes back to section one that Casales failed, while Jeroni Fajardo managed to make it through with just three drop marks. As close as you like the competition tonight. 11 marks there for Jeroni Fajardo, 12 for Jorge Casales, just one in it. Seeing images again. From that uh, consolation final, Casales giving a very good account of himself here tonight. One mark behind the podium, fourth position, his best ever result. Ran out of time in section number three. Jeroni Fajardo failed even earlier in section three, there it is. And then it came down to section four, and Casales put in a really strong battling performance. It was really tight in terms of time over the line for Casales. It was tight for Fajardo as well, but in the end, the verdict is just a mark between them. Fajardo 11, Casales 12. Fajardo takes third position here tonight. Casales takes fourth.